Hi everybody, my name is Bill Schild. I'm GM of the Americas for Channel Factory. Along with me I have Jake Marks, the Global Head of Partnerships for Stagwell. We are fortunate enough to be here at Stagwell Sport Beach at the International Festival of Creativity for Can Lion. And being as Can Lion is the festival for both creativity and innovation, I thought this was the perfect forum to talk a bit about not only the future of advertising, but also talk with someone who really understands it. And I'm happy to be here, and I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, great to be here. Appreciate you guys uh, joining us. We are excited to get rolling. All right, thanks. Well, I think the first thing on everyone's mind here at Can Lion is artificial intelligence. Uh, we at Channel Factory spent a lot of time thinking about it, uh, using it to not only optimize and plan and buy campaigns, but we also use it to build better models for how we um, work for our workflow. So can you tell me a little bit about um, AI and how it's changing the landscape of your business? Yeah, I mean, dramatically, uh, I know it's the buzzword of the past couple of years uh, in our industry and beyond, frankly speaking. Um, but we've been working with AI and in various capabilities and ways for years now, upwards of five years, we have AI ingrained in a handful of our homegrown technologies within some of the brand agencies within Stagwell, but also Stagwell Corporate. Um, we are looking to continue building out a lot of our AI solutions and capabilities within Stagwell Marketing Cloud to really help our clients latch on to what's next and to drive some of their business priorities through that form of innovation. But it's an important part of our business and you'll see a bit more from us uh, in the very near future. All right, well that's exciting because you know, as Mark Cuban said recently, if you're not thinking about it and learning about AI as a business, you're definitely gonna fail. So I'm glad to hear that yeah. you're working on it and thinking about it all day long. Cuban said it right. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, secondarily, uh, one thing that has been on my mind is that there's been, over the last several years, a shift from linear to CTV, specifically on platforms like YouTube. Yep. I'd love to know if you could provide me some insight into this trend and how it's changing and benefiting your customers. Yeah, I mean, massive shifts. We've been seeing this for a while now. Obviously, it is uh, continuing to go in an upward trajectory from the, the pace and the rate at which it is shifting over from you know linear live forms of viewing to being IP delivered, right? And what we have always done a good job of, in, in my opinion, is being an integrated planning and buying and activation organization and making sure that our teams on behalf of our clients are set up to be able to really roll with that type of, of consumer behavior shift. Um, and it's important to understand what all of those opportunities are out there from a content standpoint uh, and where you have mass audiences gravitating towards, depending upon you know our audience objectives and targets, for our clients' business. Uh, YouTube is a very big part of our holistic video strategy. Uh, therefore, Channel Factory, our great partners, are a big part of that strategy. You guys do an incredible job of making sure that we are able to put our clients' brand messaging in safe and relevant environments. Uh, you've been building a robust technology solution uh, and suite of capabilities for years now that give us confidence to go into the marketplace. Uh, and make sure that we are buying, you know, relevant, good audiences, quality, uh, high performing content. And so, you know, I think it's a testament to what you guys have done. Uh, and hopefully we can continue, you know, working together in bigger and better ways uh, to drive our clients' business forward together. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Um, all right, number three would be, will they or won't they? So we've been talking about the cookie future for a long time. Uh, we're future-proofing our business because we're focused on contextual, but tell me a little bit about how Stagwell is future-proofing their business. Sure. Uh, similar, but also, you know, obviously contextual is going to be a very big part of uh, this strategy for a lot of us. Um, but we're also leading into uh, developing our own uh, identity resolution uh, capabilities uh, through, you know, various spine projects. Um, it's going to be uh, and continue to be a work in progress for us. You know, obviously some of the big platforms in the space have been pushing off the inevitable, um, but that doesn't mean that we have slowed down with trying to figure out what those capabilities and solutions are for our organization and for our clients. Uh, and I think we're in a really good place um, right now, but when the day comes, uh, we will most definitely be ready. We're trying to be ready now though. 
Right. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really important. Obviously, we've been working in this space. We've known each other for a long time. Yes, we have. And we've been working in this space. And, yeah. and the challenges that are here every day, um, it's good to see that Stagwell's yeah. working toward fixing and changing the market and, and innovating uh, in the cookie space. So Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. I, I guess we're pretty much done, but I will yeah. have to ask you one more question. Sure. Which side of the street are you going to stand on when the torch comes by? I am on the seaside all, right. all week. I'm Always not leaving Sport seaside. Beach. This is the place to be. All right. Thank you yeah. very much for your time, Jake. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everybody and appreciate uh, all the time. Yeah. All right. Thank Great. you.